Hello and welcome everyone, Tyrell here, and I thought it should be done that I should make a video about the latest update. Now I already did a video entirely about the new defense. If you want to see it and you haven't, just check the description below, or literally, it's like the last video on my channel. It's right there. And I'm not really going to talk about it, but this defense right here actually shows what it can do to help you. It actually pushed my Lava Hounds to the air defense. But I'm not going to talk about the defense right now, so let's get started on this. The first thing I want to talk about is the most important, the matchmaking changes. Right now, it is, from what I understand, broken. Now, I'm in Champions League, so it doesn't affect Champions League. It only affects Masters and below, and I can't see it. But I have heard from a lot of people that they're, like, in Crystal League and seeing one trophy or something like that, something ridiculous, like the last time matchmaking got broken. I'm not too worried about this, because I feel like Supercell is going to fix it really, really soon. So, I mean, if it's broken right now, give it a few days and it'll be fixed. Once it is fixed, it's actually going to be fairly game-changing, because finally, for the first time in the history of Clash of Clans, all those people that we used to call wrong are now right. Because now, Town Hall does make a difference in your matchmaking. Up until now, it never has. That's a common misconception, but it really never made any difference. It was trophies only. But now, Town Hall matters. I don't know exactly what that's going to do. Maybe it will help you find better loot, because maybe it's only working for like two Town Halls. But maybe it'll just break it and you'll see nothing but strong Town Hall 10s as a Town Hall 9 or 10 and get totally wrecked. Also, I have no idea what it's going to do to Masters League. It might be easier to push through Masters League as a low Town Hall now. Probably is. But for the time being, it's a little bit broken from what I'm told. The next most important thing is another thing that I've suggested that has been added to Clash of Clans. It is the changes to Clan Wars. This was... An idea that I had, I don't know if they used my idea or they came up with it on their own. I did post a lot about it on the forums about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, about having it so that once you attack, no matter what you do, it's a surrender, but having this window that shows you if you have all your troops. Because I know I've gone in and gone, oh crap, I don't have my king, I don't have my queen, I need to go back. And with the surrender button, the only thing that you can do you wouldn't have that option to go back and get them. That's why I thought, you know what, we should have this confirmation screen. And you know what? They did it. They added it, and this should help combat some of the shenanigans that goes on with Clan Wars. Not all of them. There's still the major thing we're not allowed to talk about that's still going on, and they can't really do much about it right now. I don't know the whole details, but for the time being, at least something has been done about one part of it. Another big thing that they added is your attacking troops will not chase down the clan castle troops all the way across the map. You guys know that I have so much trouble with that when my heroes will be like right next to the town hall, then they'll just run outside the base across the entire map just to hit one archer and it will ruin my entire attack. And I know that's happened to a lot of you. So now that's not going to be happening. They might go a couple squares over. I don't know how many. I haven't checked it yet, I haven't been able to test it, but that is definitely an improvement in my book. The interface improvements, like how Clan Chat will now tell you if someone changes any of your settings, it's not really that special, it's kind of filler, kind of fluff, it's really unnecessary. It's nice to have, but it's not that important, and I don't really care for it either way. The next thing, Clan Bookmarks, kind of filler, kind of falls under that filler, but I can see how it would be helpful for some people. There's a few clans that I kind of check every now and then, so it's nice to have it. But again, we could live without it. It's not game-changing. It's not huge for anybody. But still, it's nice to have, I guess. And last, but certainly not least, the name change. The name change, I'll just say it right now, really quickly, I'm absolutely fine with it because it's a one-time thing. And if you screw up your name change, yeah, it can't change it back, so think about it before you do it. But since it's only a one-time thing, it's alright. It's not going to cause any major problems. And with that, that is everything for this entire update. It's a small update, 
but it did add a new defense, change matchmaking entirely, added something to help with Clan Wars that I've been asking for for almost a year now, and fixed a few things, added some nice little side things that we don't really need. Overall, I think it's a positive update. If you want to hear what I think about the new trap, that'll be linked in the description below. But what do you guys think about this entire update, including the matchmaking change? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Tyrael, out.